Hello, everyone. Welcome to Edha's Pro Training and Consulting. As we are discussing an inventory management, today directly I will show you the end-to-end -end process because we have done the configuration settings in my previous video. Today, I will do end-to-end -end process so that we can complete our goods, move, uh, goods receipt activity. Okay. Now, so uh, as I told you, we are using the transaction code MIGO, MIGO for goods receipt. So enter my go transaction code and you can get into the goods receipt screen. So here you have to select goods receipt. So today I will show you how can we do the goods receipt with reference to the purchase order. Okay. Now, so if you want to do the goods receipt with reference to purchase order, you should have the purchase order number with you. Okay. If you don't have directly, you can go back to the ME21N and you can create a purchase order. So this is very much important today because now whatever transactions we will be doing, everything will be depend on that will be uh, like update in the purchase order. So be careful. So just enter your purchase organization, select the supplier which you want to use. And then in the header, we have different field which we have discussed in the purchase order session. So if you have any doubt, you can go through that. Uh, and then enter your material. So material can be searched based on the plant, right? So this is my plant and I want to use this material. And for this material, how much quantity I want to order? For example, 100 quantity. And what, when is my delivery date? I'm expecting on this date. And this is a net price. If info record is maintained, price will be automatically here. Okay, I've just entered this amount. So I have entered 100 here. So if it is in, if info record is uh, maintained with some different price, you can see net price it is picking 11 automatically. That means the info record is maintained for this particular uh, vendor and material combination. Okay. So this is how we can create the order and just click on save. So once you have created the purchase order and purchase order release strategy is configured, then it, it will be sent for the purchase order approval. It means now it should be sent for the approval. So once approval is done, then only we can uh, send the PO to the supplier and supplier will do the order confirmation. And then based on that, they will do the uh, delivery of the material. Okay. So let me just check if you have release strategy tab enabled here. So just click on this display mode and three, four, two. So if I'll click on header, we can see any release strategy tab. So no, there is no release strategy tab is available. That means for this PO, we can, it is not required to go for the approval. But yes, if a release strategy is enabled and if it is, if, had, if it is configured, then you have to release the PO and then only system will allow you to do the goods receipt. Okay. So I'm just copying this PO because now I will show you how to do the goods receipt with reference to this purchase order. Now, before getting into the goods receipt screen, what you need to take care of, you can see. If you click on the status tab, how much quantity you have ordered? 100. How much delivered? Zero, because still we have not done goods receipt. How much still to deliver? 100. It means 100 you have ordered, 100 you have still to be delivered. It means you have ordered, but you have not received anything. Okay. And in item details tab, here you can see is there any tab related to purchase order history can you see any tab related to purchase order history that means purchase order history tab will be generated after doing goods receipt only or invoice okay now so now we will do goods receipt and then we will come back to the screen again and we will check so now click on this and then, so I have just opened a new session and enter the transaction code. And now I will be doing goods receipt with reference to the purchase order. So enter the purchase order number here. Then press enter. Now see, based on the selection, here it is showing goods receipt. GR goods receipt with movement type 101. Now it is depend. When you are receiving it, it will depend whether you want to keep this... You want to take it directly into 101 or you want to take into the block stock or GR block stock or quality stock. So it is depend on me in which stock you want to take. Okay. So then enter 101. 
Then here you can see in the header, here again, we have three screen header data. Here we have the line item data, right? And then this is your detailed data. So in the header data, we can see that these are the general information. So what are the general information in header data? Document date, posting date. So when are you doing goods receipt? So this is what I was talking about in the posting period. Okay. So it will not allow you for the previous month receiving based on the um, settings. That should not allow option. Okay. Now. Next is delivery note, bill of lading, if any number, which is basically when we receive the material, when the uh, lorry or the truck comes to your factory or to your plant, at that time, the delivery chalan or the delivery note comes with you. So during goods receipt, if you have that number, manually you can enter it. Then bill of lading. So these are the document number, which is required. Bill of lading is basically used for the import receipt. If any other text, if you want to write any slip number, you have you can enter in the header data. Okay. If you click on vendor, here you have the vendor information from which vendor uh, you are receiving it. Because based on the purchase order, this is the purchase order, and based on this purchase order, you are receiving uh, or you are doing the goods receipt. So system is showing that in this purchase order, this was a supplier which was maintained. Okay. Fine. Now then go to the material tab so and in this tab here you can see the, this is a line item this was the item this was the quantity which you had ordered this was the each and this was your movement type which you have used for which plant okay now once it is done the next is your uh, item details where you can see your in in the material tab you can see the material number with the description, this what is your material group? If any supplier material number is there, that you can mention. Quantity, how much quantity you are receiving? So here you can do the partial receiving also. Since so you have ordered hundred, but if you are receiving ninety quantity, maybe supplier has sent only ninety, then you will enter ninety quantity only. So this is called partial receipt. Okay, where where are you going to receive it in this plant? So this is the concept of receiving the storage location. So do you remember when uh, we were doing the setting, create storage location automatically? So this is the setting which we need to do. Now it will depend in which storage location you want to store. If you want to put it in MRS4 or MRS1, you have to select the storage location. Okay. And then Click on purchase order data. Here you can see your purchase order number. Partner is your supplier. Okay. Once you have done this, you can click on this item OK tab. So once you'll click on item OK, now click on check. The system will check whether everything is correctly or not. So this is a warning message, what it is saying. It is saying deficit of you ordered quantity 10. Because we have ordered 100 quantity, but I am receiving only 90 quantity, right? So that's the reason it is showing. That. But this is just a warning. But if you are receiving all the quantity correctly, 100 quantity, you have to enter 100. But I want to show you something. So that's the reason I'm just doing partial receiving. Okay, let's receive for 50 quantity. Okay, so check again. So now it will show for 50. And then now click on post. So once you will click on post, now goods receipt is done. So this is the material document number generated. Okay, so as I said, when we will be doing goods receipt, there will be two type of document which will be oh, generating one will be your goods uh, sorry material document and accounting document so material document where the material information will be there and that will be related to us if it is accounting document that will be related to the finance department okay now get into the display mode of this so this is the material document number 500210 so click on this and then now click on display so once you will click on display you will be able to see this document number just press enter now so this is in display mode now. So in this display mode, you have to click on this document info tab. So click on document info tab. And here you have this option, FI documents. So you can see the finance documents here. So click on here. So in financial documents, here we can see two type of, because in the CPMM now we have the material ledger also. So these are completely related to the finance. They will take care of it. Just we want to uh, know the 
document what are the different documents which has been generated based on the movement type which we have used so click on this accounting document now and here we can see two document number uh, sorry uh, two tra so uh, two transaction has been done here so one this is for inventory manage inventory raw material so this is for the raw material which we have received okay this was the quantity and this is the currency and it has been debit to the this account number and this is the account number so this is for gr goods receipt ir means invoice receipt so here you can see so in general when whenever any amount receive uh, or sorry mo whenever any amount uh, credit to our account that means what we have received that amount into our account right but in sap it is just reverse of that okay so that's the reason you can see for GR it is showing minus for GR IR and for so this is the raw material and for this raw material this is the amount which will be credit and this will be debit. So these are the accounting entries. So anybody can ask you in the interview what are the different accounting entries generating in the accounting document. So here you can see in the accounting entries we have the raw material and the GR IR clearing document. Okay, fine. Now come back and we can now see. So this is what about your uh, accounting documents. Where can you see the accounting documents and what are the entries we have? Okay. Now come back and now go to my geo. So this we were into the display mode, right? So in the display mode, here we can get into this purchase order data now. So now already we have done, and now so what I'll do, I'll just open the purchase order tab, and this is the purchase order number. So I'll just refresh this. So I'll just refresh, and once this is the purchase order, same purchase order number. Now you can see the status here. So now in this header, in the ordered, we had ordered 100 quantity, right? But we have received, delivered how much? 50. How much still to deliver? 50. Right? And if we click on this item details, here we will have the delivery tab. So if in this delivery tab, here we have uh, goods receipt and this delivery complete. So this is what the delivery complete indicator we have discussed on. So when it will be enabled, when you will be doing the goods receipt for the full quantity. So now, and additionally, I was talking about this purchase order history tab. This purchase order history tab will generate once you will be doing the goods receipt. So here you can see this is the document type. This is the movement type. And this is the document number, material document number generated. This is the posting date. This is the quantity and other details. So this is how you have done the goods receipt for your 50 quantity. Okay. And then now let's get back to the goods receipt screen. Okay. So once you have done the goods receipt for the, so this is what we have discussed about the partial quantity. Okay. So in the next class, we will be discussing on the um, cancellation part. How can we cancel it? And how can we uh, split the quantity and we can receive the materials?